Hello, you are welcome to yet another edition of The Noble Icon. My name is Yakubu Mohammed. In this edition, we're going to talk about this patriot who is always concerned and worried about the welfare of his people. He's an amazing leader and someone with fierce ambition to put his homeland on a solid and straight foundation for a better governance. He is no one than Engineer Rabi Musa Konkwaso, a man with a general sense of what and how a better society should be. Konkwaso is a bold man who expresses exactly the way he feels. He adopts policies of any kind as long as those policies are going to benefit the people he governs. Konkwaso's noble deeds has elevated his achievement in the minds of the people. He believes so much in human development. He's a man of ambitions and has proved to be a very good administrator. His marks will be imprinted in the history of more than Kanul because he has impressive record of achievements. Konkosos led administration is a people's oriented governance whose focus is on creating job opportunities. His marks and achievements in the area of education, rural electrification and health will continue to be a reference point in the annals of the history of the state. Sound education is the bedrock of development of any egalitarian society. Dr. Rabbi Musa Konkoso has beautiful vision for education, good intention for his people to set him free from illiteracy. His achievements are monumental. He has sponsored thousands of Kanul undergraduate and postgraduate students in different disciplines to study in different Nigerian universities and world-class universities to further their education based on merit. When we talk about exemplary and purposeful leadership, Konkosu during his reign as governor of Kano State, Kano had witnessed creative empowerment and general sense of societal regeneration. Rabiu Musa Konkoso, FNSA, is a Nigerian politician who was the governor of Kano State from 1999 to 2003 and 2011 to 2015. He was elected to the Senate in 2015 under the platform of the All Progressives Congress, APC, representing the Kano Central Senatorial District. After he lost his election in 2003, he was appointed the first civilian Minister of Defense of the Fourth Republic from 2003 to 2007. Born on the 21st of October 1956, Rabi Musa Konkoso enjoys widespread support in Kano. He has been viewed as a charismatic populist. In 2011, he was re-elected governor of the state and went to join the All Progressives Congress APC in 2014. In 2015, Konkoso contested the presidential primaries nomination under the opposition All Progressive Congress. He later returned to People's Democratic Party, PDP. Konkoso was born in Konkoso village located in Madubi, Kano. He attended Konkoso Primary School Gorzo Borden Senior Primary School, Wudu Craft School, and Kano Technical College before proceeding to Kaduna Polytechnic, where he did both his national diploma and higher national diploma. He also attended postgraduate studies in the United Kingdom from 1982 to 1983 at the Middlesex Polytechnic and Logborough University of Technology where he received a master's degree in water engineering in 1985. Kwankoso was an active student leader during his school days and was an elected official of the Kano State Students Association. Kwankoso started work in 1975 at the Kano State Water Resources and Engineering Construction Agency, Riga. He served in the civil service for 17 years in various capacities and rose through the ranks 
as the principal engineer. In 1992, Konkoso was elected as a member of House of Representatives representing Madubi Federal Constituency. His subsequent election as deputy speaker in the House brought him to the limelight of national politics. During the 1995 Constitutional Conference, Konkoso was elected as one of the delegates from Kano as member of the People's Democratic Movement led by Er Adwa. Konkoso joined the PDP in 1998 under the platform of People's Democratic Movement in Kano led by Malem Musa Gwadebe. Konkoso was elected as the executive governor of the northern Nigerian state of Kano between 1999 and 2003 under the flag of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Konkoso was subsequently appointed as the Minister of Defense in President Olushigo Basenjo's cabinet in 2003. In 2007, he was appointed as the Presidential Special Envoy to Somalia and Darfur. Konkoso was re-elected for a second time as Kano State Governor on 26th April 2011 and sworn in on 29th May 2011. Rabi Musa Konkoso won with a difference of 63,000 plus votes. His party won three quarters of the House of Assembly seats by winning 30 out of the total 40 seats in the state. During his time as the governor, he sponsored over 7,000 students to study abroad across different disciplines and level from undergraduates and postgraduates. On 26 November, he was among five PDP governors who defected to the new opposition party APC and formed a PDP splinter group in August, known as the GSAP. Rabbi Musa Konkoso contested the senatorial seat for Kano Central Senatorial District and won. He was elected on the 2nd of March 2015. First 100 achievements of engineer Dr. Rabbi Musa Konkoso. Ofer Nasarawa flyover, Ibrahim Tayo Road flyover, Murutala Mohammed Way flyover, Kabuga on the pass, Kofar Gadong Air on the pass, Konkosiya City, Amana City, Bandirao City, dualization of Sheikh Jaffa Road, rehabilitation of Kofar Naisa Galadenshi Road, Gwale Gudindi Road, Northwest University, 13 Zungeri Road, Hausa Road, Sabangari. Magajurumfa Road, Air Force Base Road, Kano Madubi Road, Expansion of Zaria Road, Hadejia Road, Gwarza Road, Farm Center Road, Dualization of Sabor Kofa Road, Court Road, AKTH Road, Civic Center Road, Niger Street, Malangato Road, Post Office Road, 5 km roads, 44 local government, Provision of Street Lights, Road traffic regulation within state. Governor's College, First Lady College, Jambaki College, Sports Institution at Karfi, Informatic Institution at Kura, 44 SIS schools, 18 institutions to promote human capital, Midwife School at Madubi, sponsoring more than 3,005 undergraduates and postgraduate students in different disciplines to abroad in order to improve the level of education. Provision of free primary, secondary, tertiary and university education to all bona fide indigents in Kano State. Construction of over 1,000 classroom Konkosia block. Free primary feeding. Free uniform to primary one students. Construction of general hospital at Madubi. Provision of hospital equipment and authentic drugs especially for women and children. Boosting internally generated revenues, IGR. Amana shuttle buses and taxis. Toyota luxury buses for airport and other special services. Donation of 10,000 cash fee to women for startup businesses. Lafia Jari chemists program about 2,000 beneficiaries. Empowering Lafia Jari Baba saloons. Over 400 tree cycle machines donated to Slaughter's Association. Konkosia Lodge for secondary school teachers. Karota, Karma, Corporate Security Guards, Gabasawa. Recruitment of over 8,000 indigents in Kano State. 
interlocking streets within an outside metropolis. Kano Pila's football club became champion in three consecutive years under his administration. Triumphed Kano Pila's basket team three consecutive years champions, giving out complete sporting equipment to over 2,000 clubs within the state, giving 20,000 Naira cash donation to over 2,000 clubs within the state, donating free brand new care to Kano Pila's football club players for 2011-2012 season, donating Toyota brand new to Pila's players for the 2012 2013. 250,000 cash donation to Pillars basketball players age. 250 for baseball players for 2013 2014 season. Reconstruction of Subway Kofa. Reconstruction of Kofa Naisa. Reconstruction of Kofa Dangagundi. Reconstruction of Kofa Nasarawa. Donation of Toyota Hilux over 50 to police and other security agents in the state. Donation of over 50 Toyota Hilux vigilant groups for the four local government. Donation of 1,000 Toyota Hilux to various ministries and parastatals in the state. Donation of buses for Girl Child Initiative. Enhancing common facilities Santa Sharada. Tata buses for tertiary colleges. Donation of more than luxurious bus to Kano Pillars Football Club. Fencing all primary schools in the state. Fencing of all graveyards within the state. Donating of ambulance for the Concorsia Medical Outreach. Fencing and general rehabilitation of government house. Reconstruction of race course. Promoting of over 30,000 primary school teachers. Establishing microfinance banks within the 44 local governments. Construction of mini markets within the 44 local governments. Construction of public toilets at major villages and markets. Donating of over 1,000 transformer for electricity. Independent power project at Tigadam. Laying pipes for water supply within the Kano metropolis. Rehabilitation of Hasia Bayero Hospital. Murtala Mohammed Hospital, Gaya Hospital, Gwarzo Hospital, donating over 800 cow slash bull for rearing and farming, rehabilitation of dental clinic at Zaria Road, construction of Concorsia theaters at various tertiary institutions in the state, construction overhead bridges located in different places in the state for pedestrians. Donation of Concorsia Tree Cycle Rickshaw Ambulance. Donating whole trucks to Ministry of Environment. Construction of Wujuju Road. Construction of Mahaha Sport at Kofar Naisa. Provision of more than laboratories in over 100 tertiary institutions. This perhaps explains the quality of leadership in the gritty and frame Concorso. What could have better described a man other than exemplary character and purposeful leadership? Concos also plays out the popular saying that a great leader communicates vision that captures the imagination and fires the heart and minds of those around him. Indeed, his administration's achievements are monumental and it will be an extremely difficult challenge to strive to meet or surpass them. The Concos administration has challenged many other states to live up to the billings and deliver on their mandates. For sure, in Nigeria today, Kano State remains a model state not only in the northern axis of the country, but also in the entire country given the uncommon transformational development in both human, material, and infrastructures in the state. The Concoso slogan and red cap identity definitely did not come by accident. Rather, it was as a result of the track of records of probity, tested and trusted leadership demonstrated by Concoso's administration. Thank you for watching. We've come to the end of this edition of The Noble Icon. Keep a date with us. We're going to bring yet another person with noble deeds. Our aim is to encourage the society and bring to the fore people who have impacted the society positively. My name is Yakubu Muhammad. Bye-bye.